Today's top story. Rock legend Ace Harrison is finally hanging up the signal. The charismatic frontman of Gator and the Boatman, known for their signature song, Dysfunctional, is retiring to spend more time with his family. Ace, you will be missed. Conservative blogger Walter Duke was killed last night during an altercation with the police. A new municipal law is passed banning the use of intimidating faces. So, enter Johnson and Pollard. Super dope law firm that takes on cases of injustice that happen within the community. They're down with everything I'm trying to be about, and I would love to be a part of something like that. They actually help people. Feels like it's bigger than me, you know? Point is, I got an interview there today. They're starting up a department to help people in need, calling us social justice consultants. <laughs> I won't lie, pretty hype. And it's not often you find an opportunity like this, you know? Well, it helps that I got my special paper. Actually, give me a second here. All right, where was I? Um, right, the all important degree. My parents always told me this would open doors for me. They've been helping me out and to be honest, I'm grateful for that. I owe them a lot, but today's a new day and honestly, with all the stuff going on in the world, being me is the only thing that I have control over. Who doesn't want to be in control? Tell me why they say they stay, then they always go. Cause I don't want no one beside me when I'm riding home. I'm gonna put my bag away. Can you put my phone in your bag too? Classic Isaiah. Uh, anyways, so I'm looking at them like, seriously? You can figure this out yourself? I've only been here for a couple of months and I feel like I could run the company myself. Enter exhibit A, Christine. Best friend since like forever. We grew up together. Sometimes she feels more like my sister than my actual sister. Especially when she's being annoying, like this. Yeah, you're probably right, Chris. Don't call me Chris. Steven is that too many. Who's Steven? Did you listen to a word I said? I mean, honestly, nah, not really. Aaron thinks it's something to entertain. Wait, who's Aaron? Hmm. So now I've got your attention. Aaron is probably the coolest person I know, including you, friend. Anyway, so she's all like, maybe if you go out with Steven, he'll ease up a bit. She even offered to come. So in enters you, my dumb compadre. Drinks tonight, you, me, Stephen, Aaron. Wait, hold on. Chris, it's Tuesday. Yeah. Dude, you are so boring. You have no flair. Look a little. Are you in or not? And now you see what I've been dealing with my whole life. All right, man, I'll be there. It's nice to see you have some life in you. But on a more serious note, Good luck today. You're gonna kill it. Johnson and Porter would be lucky to have you. It's Johnson and Porter. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Get the job first, then you can correct me. You know, it's, sometimes you're too much. I'm a peach. Yeah, you're something. I can't all be you, Chris. Mm. And that, my friend, is a damn shame. Hey, Isaiah, Isaiah. It must be someone. I see you right to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you ask some water? Yes, please. So, let's just get right into it. Yeah. So, here at Johnstone and Potter, we really take pride in what we do. Right off the bat, I already love it here. To see everyone doing what they do so passionately, it's inspiring. I must say, Isaiah, on paper you seem to be an ideal candidate, and our conversation say furthers that assumption. Unfortunately, I'm not the one making the final hiring decisions. Fortunately for you, I don't intend on wasting Jason's time. We're looking to bring in three people for the department, so anyone coming back tomorrow for a follow-up should feel pretty confident about their prospects. Although I shouldn't be saying this, you have nothing to worry about. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Is there any upcoming cases we can possibly be working on? Excellent question, yes. I'm sure you've heard of Walter Duke. He was 
killed last night during an altercation with the police. Yeah, I know who that is. For the uninitiated, Walter Duke is your classic alt writer, famous for doxing any and everyone who disagrees with him. What about him exactly? Well, he was shot by a police officer a couple of nights ago. Shot? Yes, and now the family is suing. What are they suing for? There's no official charge being made yet, but they're on the grounds of police misconduct. Wait, Duke was a cop? Duke? No, it's Walter Duke's family that's pressing charges. So you're representing Walter Duke's family? Yes. On the surface, I see how that may seem a contradiction to what we're trying to accomplish here, but there is evidence to support misconduct on the police officer's end. But it's Walter Duke. I sympathize with your position on this, Isaiah. I hope you can grow to understand our position on this as well. We welcome those who challenge us to be better. And why take this case? That's information privy to those parties involved. I'd be happy to share that with you once you start with us. You'll come back tomorrow, meet Jason, and get a better feel for what we're about. Thank you for your time today. Um, I look forward to meeting with you and Jason tomorrow. It's been a pleasure, Isaiah. <laughs> You say you should never meet your heroes. I wanted to help people, but Walter Duke? I mean, he had it coming. And honestly, I don't mean for anything bad to happen to anyone, but Duke dug his own grave. Uh, flipping these harder visions, cause I got a heart of visions. Teach them the art of pitching while I define the rhythm. These bitches are artificial, I think I'm monumental. Sweeping is all that they can do, so I really need to offend you. Certain the who got it with two half a cameras like group shadow that you So you debut like Geppetto But I was a new kind of menu Hoping that you got the special uh, Would you not the chef the color That's why people love food for it's scared You don't regret it You probably go vegan and do 